Welcome guys to episode 833 of Minecraft and I'm using the Yonder Craft mod. Now guys, take a look at the awesome texturing in this mod. Now let's go over some of the features of this mod. Now from far away, I just like to observe that uh, the textures sort of look like the Borderlands textures or the Borderlands PC games. Very nice and cartoony, different sort of feel um, towards Minecraft. I am using a texture pack. Maybe that's why it has that weird feel to it, but uh, it's definitely not Minecrafty at all. It uh, has very nice textures. Now, these are the two sort of, uh, one being Ancient Remains, uh, these guys, and one being as crystals. Now you need a uh, higher um, than a uh, stone pickaxe to actually mine these guys. They can be found all over your world and uh, here we have the astral crystals in our nice little pocket uh, inventory and we're going to just get the ancient remains and uh, these ancient remains give us all sorts of random objects. They have uh, there's a chance of uh, dropping four different objects and today we got a cog wheel and also an engine. Now you can also get uh, with a, in these uh, ancient remains you can also get a uh, microchip and also a data matrix. Now this may be sounding very funky but uh, it all makes sense a little bit later on. Now in the intro of the video I showed you a digger. Now uh, I'm just sort of getting off topic here but um, actually we'll describe what a digger does a little bit later on so you guys get a better understanding of what this mod has to offer. Go away brown cow! Now the first sort of key thing that you need to do is actually find some relics. There are four different or uh, types of relics, three that are nature and one that is crafted. And the first one being is a nature relic, which is can be found in wood. And I shouldn't have done that, I should have switched over to create uh, to survival mode. But uh, here we have the first relic, which is wood. Now the second relic is a lava relic, so we can just uh, collect that by... Uh, there we go. And it... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. What up? Come! Uh, are we gonna make it? Yes, we are. We're going to make it. Look at this. Look at this. Yep. There we go. Ah. And that leads us to the third relic, um, being a water relic. We can just collect that. Not like the lava one. That was a bit tricky to collect. But then we go to our crafting table, and by using some ender pearls and also um, a diamond, we will be able to craft a actual relic, which is like so. And uh, we're just going to get a lava relic to show you guys that. And uh, let's move over to step two. For the next step, we're going to be creating a research shard generator using this workbench. Now, the way you craft this workbench is uh, like it's called a standard workbench. But uh, what you need is some stone. You also need some uh, crystals and some diamond and a standard uh, crafting table and also some iron. And you're on your way. Now, you can see this uh, once you first craft it, uh, this will be grey, uh, sort of like this sort of colour. And uh, what you need to do is you need to feed it some crystal crystals and uh, you're on your way on filling up this bar. Now, let's get into the recipes. Now, this can get a little bit funky hunky, but look at the crafting recipe. It's actually a, 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 quite, a quite a diverse uh, crafting recipe. I quite like the crafting recipe. It looks uh, kind of very nice and funky, but uh, I'm just following the recipe that was given to me in the actual um, farmer thread. And uh, you just collect uh, enough uh, ancient ruins and uh, you get these over time. Now, they, they can be easily accessible. accessible. Um, these ancient uh, ruins, um, they're fantastic basically all over scattered all over your world now um, what am I doing I'm not paying too much attention but here is the final ingredients and also one to pop off in the middle to create that and we have ourselves a research shard generator we're gonna collect that and you can see that it's dropped by half so you need to actually give it power to actually craft stuff and take a look at the design on the top I actually really like that uh, I like the feature how it didn't include that and it didn't uh, increase the um, sort of crafting table uh, it just thought outside of the box I like that um, now let's go and place down the research shard generator and you need any of the uh, two or any of the uh, four um, sort of experiments or um, sort of any of the four stuff that uh, is dropped out from the ancient ores so we have uh, over 10 data matrix so we're just gonna drop off one and we're gonna if you, if you just place one nothing will happen but uh, if you place 10 a countdown will happen from five minutes and it is a total surprise what will happen now all we need to do is wait five minutes now, once the five minute time period is over, you get the essence of knowledge. And that'll be useful to be actually creating the actual um, 
research table and uh, the way you actually craft the research table is by using, I'm going to cheat a little bit here, but uh, you can't press R on the research table? Oh, come on. Alright, so we'll go the old fashioned way. This is the elaborate uh, sort of crafting recipe that you need to do to get the actual research table. Now, once you have it, we're going to have a bit of fun. Now, the unfortunate thing about this mod is it's still a work in progress, so you've got to give it a little bit of slack and uh, the research table doesn't work all that well. So basically, I'm going to demonstrate what uh, uh, basically you can create with this uh, with these stuff so I'm just gonna clear my inventory and uh, with your relics um, you just place them in here and they uh, can basically buy um, a sort of item so you can buy the uh, lava generator you can also buy the water and uh, lava controllers um, and all sorts of teleportation cool stuff that you can do but uh, let me show you guys uh, what that is all about hey guys look it's uh, raining now let's go make it stop I'm using the rain stopper and we're gonna throw down two arrow crystals and look at that, look at that cool animation and take a look at this red sky and kablamma we will have clear skies once again there we go it's clearing up perfect alright so it's basically say it works the same way as setting up a, or starting rain so we're just gonna throw it down um, it gives that white uh, sort of uh, animation. Now, it won't do anything until you give yourself some crystals. Uh, one and two. Uh, you've got to have it, give it two, otherwise it won't work. And voila, we will have rain. Isn't that magnificent? Very nice mod. Now, the next cool feature is a lava generator. Ha 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 ha. Take a look at this. We have a lava generator over here. It's getting uh, nighttime, so it's going to switch it over to daytime. Now, it does emit a little bit of light, and uh, as you can see, there is uh, zero lava. You can see the sort of obsidian sort of texture there. It looks pretty nifty over there, and it goes into some sort of vortex. Very, very fine tunnel. And uh, let's go make it uh, a little bit of lava. So, what you need to do again with the crystals is uh, throw them in throw them in the cauldron and you can see the lava actually growing and growing and growing and growing and uh, not not too much because it may spill but uh, after you've done that you can go get your bucket and voila you have yourself a lava generator now let's take a look how much you get you get well uh, 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 creative mode why you do this to me why do you do this to me creative mode Okay, so I got rid of creative mode and just to, oh my god, oh look at that, that was pretty cool, that was nifty, I like that. Um, we're just going to quickly do that and we're going to throw in one crystal and one crystal basically gives off one bucket so I can just fill it up and I'll have a full bucket and uh, we can just throw it in there and see if Ah, look at that, we got two buckets out of one crystal, I did not know that. Normally it gives off one, but uh, maybe I, I'm mistaken, maybe you will get two. Okay, we do get two, that's uh, quite of a nifty, I, I, I only saw that you can only get one, and oh god, there we go, there we go, that was a quick save. Now this is a digger in its baby state, it uh, hasn't got received any crystals, we can just place a chest on top of it so we can get all the actual items. Now, this is not a one of the typical mining, strip mining diggers, they don't actually make any uh, damage to your landscape all it does is basically sucks up all your actual um all your uh, ores and uh, bring them up to your chest you need to throw down five of these crystals and I think we have one left over there we go and uh, you can see expand very nice animations this mod has and they're uh, very funky as well okay so once it's done that it will uh, suck up all the absolute craziness ores that we have underneath us in a basically uh, perimeter it doesn't really state on what kind of perimeter it has but it has a, a fairly small uh, perimeter as, uh, as I was testing it or maybe maybe it has a large perimeter and uh, I just had a really bad luck of the draw but uh, it definitely doesn't go straight down it does uh, go around for a little bit of a radius so uh, hopefully we can see some progress maybe get some coal in the lower uh, layers and uh, then hopefully we we'll get some a diamond we got uh, last time I tested it it was coal uh, redstone and also iron and it does pick up um, actual obsidian which is kind of cool so now there's one last thing the astral terror teleporter let's go check that out now now when I was mucking around with my astral teleporter I actually did a little bit of a boo-boo and uh, let's go back into the digger actually now it actually the digger actually exploded it finished mining and we only got two iron so it wasn't that great 
But what we're going to do is we're going to pop that and uh, we lost the chest. Great. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new digger location over here to showcase you guys it to you again. Now we'll get the crystals and uh, we'll also get a chest so we can just plunk in the awesome stuff. Um, we'll just chuck the these stuff in here and there we go. And now let me talk about the awesome astral teleporter. Now... Blam. Let's go to the astral sub dimension and uh, the sub dimension, eh, it's still not loading for me. The sub dimension um, is supposed to be sort of somewhat like a maybe a base. It really doesn't offer too much. You can use it as a storage facility um, from the things that I've been reading and uh, watching videos on. But that's pretty much it, uh, what the sub dimension can actually do. So now let's go craft the advanced astral teleporter, which offers some better features. Now, this is the only problem with uh, the actual uh, astral teleporter. It launches you somewhere in no man's land. It appro uh, approximately uh, drops you um, 200 chunks away from your spawn, which uh, I'm not very familiar with this kind of deserty outlook. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go and simply die. There we go, respawn. Now we've pretty much covered all the items that this mod has to offer. Now keep in mind that this mod is still a work in progress, but uh, it has a lot of awesome features. I'm actually really impressed with this mod and I give this mod a massive 10 out of 10 Fruit Loops, even though this mod is still a work in progress. Now let's go check out what we actually gather from here. Nothing too interesting, we still haven't gathered. Oh, there we go, look at that, look at that. We're getting coal. We're getting coal, baby. We're, we're coal money, we got coal money. That's, uh, that's what we're getting. All right, so uh, I actually really like all these items. I really like the animation, the textures. Look at that, very fine Nancy artwork. I like the Borderlands feel to it. This mod is uh, spectacular, very nice. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Um, I've tried to put in um, a little bit more effort. I've tried to learn all the sort of aspects of the mod before I start doing the video. I've, I've noticed that a lot of people have been pointing that out. That I have been sort of rushing through mods, and I can agree totally. Um, I, I want to stick to my uh, upload schedule, but uh, I'll explain what's going to happen a little bit later on down the track. I'm going to decrease my upload schedule um, so I can focus on the better mods and uh, maybe not. Uh, we'll, we'll try. My main focus is quality over quantity, and I also want to make some music and uh, do some other cool, funky stuff. Um, and yeah, well, have a nice day.